Let us pray. I decree and declare, God, you granted the children supernatural strength and ability to fight. A good fight of faith. I decree and declare they are qualified to share in Jesus' inheritance. I decree and declare they are reconciled to God. I decree and declare they are firmly rooted, built up, and established in the faith. I decree and declare they are a steward of great wealth. I decree and declare they are an ambassador for Christ, the 
the doctor from announcing death for us. Keep away from that which calls sickness. Get after the cause. If you don't, why you always will be sick. I tried everything. I'm an example of everything. Everything that bothered you, it bothered me. I, I tried it too. But one of these days, I'm going to stop being the example in that for you. I'm going back to my old way. I'm going back to my old doctor. I'm going to take his medicine like I was taking it at first. Eat once every or one meal a day, Elijah. Or eat one every 48 hours, like Elijah. Or one every 72 hours, Elijah. If you eat one once every 72 hours, Elijah, you will not never have a sick day. I tried that. He was right. He was right. I went for three days, my wife will tell you, for a while, and I quit. And I fell back to every other day. Then when the devil picked me up in Washington and sent me to prison for teaching good, That's right. then I could not make it off from one meal there because nothing there was fit to eat in the first place. So trying to show, he's showing that poison that he was putting in my food. He wanted to make me eat the hog outright. So he'd starve you half to death to see if you will, will eat the hog. So we eat bread, dry bread. We eat dry white potatoes. We eat ball cucumber to get away from eating the hog. The hog essence had catch all of these because they was in the utensil where the hog had been cooked. But that was not charged to us. And that will not affect us as quick as eating the real hog meat. The germ here on the utensil may be killed by hot water. It's got to be hot, though. Because that germ of that swine is like the devil himself. It's hard to get rid of the devil unless you put him in the fire. You can't, you can't get rid of him by exile. So Allah came to you and I today to operate on us and put the joint into the fire. That is affecting us, the devil himself. You cannot take the devil today and say you go exile him. He knows every square inch of the earth almost. So you can't confine him in a place of exile. He don't only know the earth, he now knows the air. He jump up out of your, your cave now and go up in the sky. You can't put him in a cave unless you tie him down there so that he don't come out. And if you're not careful, carefully made noise way out. Anyway, he got away now. Why? In the Bible, you will uh, find this. It says, go down and take him out quick, lest he put forth his hand to the tree of life and there live forever. You never knew what this meant. Because no one to teach you. Who is the tree of life? Do you think that he would tell you the black folk? No. The garden that he was in, it was black people was wrong. 
and to put forth his hand to the tree of life is nothing on to go and intermix with them and get babies by them. That's laying hold to the tree of life. The tree of life is the black people. But he was wise. The book teach you that he know good and evil. He was a tree that know the good and evil. Stood in the midst of the God, had knowledge of good and evil, but was not doing good. And that he is the one that you better be careful with. Don't you make a mistake because he has the knowledge of you and himself too. So today God has decided to operate on the black man to get rid of the evil germ that's in him and the germ that will continue to come in him get rid of the white race. I don't know how to answer you on that. I'm scared. Be scared and go to hell with it. The Bible teaches you that. The fearful and the unbeliever had their part with the devil in a lake of fire. And Brian, no. this is what fear will do for you. Get you to hell. That's right. Now, again, it says, <clears throat> in the Holy One, if you believe in Allah, there is no fear for you. So, operation must take place. It is the same as saying to you, separation must take place. The Holy Quran and Bible teaches you the great separation must come about. There can be no judgment as long as you are mixed. Take and set the side over here as you find it in the last page of our paper, the Muhammad speak. Separate us. Let us move over here in another state of territory. Let us go to ourselves. One word, brave and bold enough to say to me, what you gonna do with those that don't want to go with you? I said, they are you. <laughs> they are so confident that you want to stay with them, that you won't go with me to a place of your own. Now, even if he gives you a place to live to yourself, you don't want to let that place. You want to live with him. I don't want to live where there's nothing but niggers. I don't want to live where there's nothing but niggers. Because niggers cannot take care of niggers. Go ahead, dear people. They are something like a dead piece of iron. Mentally, they are dead. Well, what I want to live with that kind of people are asking them to uh, set up a room for me. Take, for an instance, now that the black politician. If they follow the same politics that the white politician has been making for them, where do you think we going to wake up at? That's right. That's right. He must know. learn a better politic right. than that of his master. We cannot follow the politics of this white man the politician is not the kind that will lead us to freedom, justice, and equality. They lead us back in his way. I want you to remember this. I like that you learn, brother, your politician. I would like that you learn his politics. But I would remind you don't try to use them on your people unless you are just furthering them 
into the same thing that you hope to take them out of. All uh, of our people trying to run for office now in this government, them that the white man thinks that he have him, both soul and body, he will help him to get in though, so that he will help the white man destroy you. I said, brother, get in his office, but do something for your own people. We will be with you if we see that you are trying to work for your own people. But if you're trying to work for him, we just hope to get strong enough someday so that we can operate on both of you. We may think that all of these things are good, but I said the best thing for you, it is Islam. You have become so weak that you do not want any righteousness. I don't want no religion, Muhammad. Let me do as I please. God most certainly gonna let you do as he you please, and he's gonna do as he please. And your please will not please him. And you are not able to make war with him and win. I said, let us be happy. Let Allah operate on this enemy. Get him out of us. Put him in the fire where he belongs. We cannot convert him to Islam. Because we yet won't have a true Muslim. We will have to take the man and accept him for his faith. If he have faith in Islam or in Allah and his religion, we accept him for that. But we won't accept him in our religion to go to work to graft him back into the black man. And we won't accept him for that. We're not going to graft him back into us. He have given us enough hell for the last few thousand years by coming in contact with us. He have poisoned 90% of the black people on earth. So Allah taught me in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Take you, go to Arabia, where you suppose to find truth in all the Arabs. Yes, you suppose to. That's right. But you will find the devil over there among the Arabs. And he's sitting in the seat of authority. I said to you, the black man needs to be operated on. Operated on and get the devil out of us. This is the only way that we can rid ourselves of it. If the Arabs want to keep it and teach that old doctrine that Islam is for everyone. Yeah, in a way it is. Islam is offered to every man. But there is not every man that is going to accept it. There is not every man that belongs to it. Right, that's right, dear Father. The black man by nature is born a Muslim. He don't have to accept it. He was born there. But the white race was not born a Muslim, but was born a wicked race. Their father made them wicked to try us. Put them over us as our ruler. 
you find in some of Muhammad's lit literature that every child that is born is born a Muslim. That's wrong, Mr. Muhammad. Every snake that is born is a snake. He's not something else. That's right. He's a snake. And every child that is born is not a righteous child. If he didn't come from a righteous parent, how could he be righteous? Think about it. That's right. So, Mr. Uh, of the Quran, of Muhammad's life and history, it's wrong to say that. A snake is a snake, regardless of where he's born. He was not nothing but a snake when he was born. The devil is a devil when he's born. He wasn't born in the nature of righteousness. Go and walk in their midst now, if you don't believe it. See, don't you hear that little children? Hey, nigga, where you going? And if you look around at him, he know he's insulting you. He freaking run. That's right. That's him. Because he's a coward by nature. <laughs> I'm not ready to leave you, but I do think this is long enough for the man's return. I've been away from you so long, I won't stay here. Just look at me. <laughs> I want you to remember. I want you to know these things. That is true. Here is my brother that is a point here, Minister Farrakhan. I know you listened to him last night as well as I. I did think that it was the finest answer I ever heard coming from a man's mouth. My son thinks I'm, I'm getting beside myself just because I come home again. <laughs> but I'm happy to be among you, and he wants me to remember that uh, he would like to see me among you right. some more. Yes. But I want to say, my brother minister here, a fine minister. <laughs> that I'm happy and grateful to Allah for him and all of my other ministers that you probably don't hear. They are preaching the word just a thing. I have lots of ministers here and there throughout the country from uh, ocean to ocean. And from border to gulf, and you'll find a few have jumped over the gulf. Yeah. Right. And I want you to always remember Minister Firehouse answering the question of the moderator last night. I absolutely enjoyed it. I looked at him, I said, well, 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 what a wonderful minister. I also enjoyed before him, my son, right. being channeled by his dead brother. Though this one wasn't so dead, he was pretty much alive. 
But I thank Allah for my son. Yes, sir, dear father. As a minister, yes, I thank Allah Come on, sir. for all of my ministers whom he have raised up to help me yes, deliver his truth to my dead brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. I thank him. I thank you for coming out this afternoon to listen to the truth. Go back home and tell the world that you are the first and the last. And there will be no last of you. Tell them that long before ever there was any such thing as a race. Remember that this grafting white man from black man brought about races. Go ahead, we have any number of races from a race. I want you to know that. But there is only one nation on this earth and that's you and me, the black man. In the grafting of the butter white race, Yaqub grafted a brown race first. And we call them today Japanese. Then from the brown race came a yellow race. Called them the Chinese. And out of that yellow race, Yaqub produced a white race. He was to the apex then of his <laughs> desired man. He had it. That's the last state you can get. It is a white from black. But you cannot get a white one now from a black. Upon me, uh, out of the white one, you can't go back to him and get your black man. White don't produce black, but black will produce white. So I said to you, because this is necessary, you are in the judgment now. The storms and the earth shaking on the west coast is going to move all over the country. Right up and down the center, the people will be heard again. Watch what I tell you because this is backed up by the Quran. It teaches you that Allah will drive them into the center of the country. These earthquakes are going to happen all throughout the country in Illinois. Small ones will come around here, around us. To let you, that is little kind or crooked, know that you can be gotten too. Go ahead, but according to the Holy One, the people will be driven from both sides of the country into the center of the country. This is going on now. But I said to you, you make haste and flee to Allah. Flee for your refuge in Him. Nowhere will help you against Him. But I want you to pay good attention at what is going on. Lots of people's lives lost by terrific storms. They keep going on. They're going on now in some parts of the country. The Bible got to be fulfilled. He frightened them with his storm. And there was earthquakes in the worst places. Think over that. It's all written. It's all put before our eyes. Holy Quran teach the same. The Bible goes so far as to say that God says that he will spin all of his arrows at the devil. He won't have no other punishment to, uh, to use on. 
The arrows mean punishment. He said the devil has treated us so terribly bad that there is no way to punish him to get even with him. Be yourself. Love black. Do justice to black. Don't treat black like white treated black. Be good to black. You're the brother of black. You're the mother of black. You're the father of black. Be good to black. That's yourself. Don't tell me be good to all of them because you love the devil. How can you tell me that when God don't say he's going to be good to the devil? I love everybody, you say. I love everybody. One of the white people to think, don't think I'm not loving you. We don't give a cuss whether you love him or not. We don't tell him about that. He's no God of ours. He's no brother of ours. He was not made a brother of ours. He was made an enemy of ours. And I hate Allah, hurry off, Allah, operate on us, take him away from us. At, at this time, I said to you that I was subject, operate on the nation. It's now have come to a close, and I you that you understand what I mean. Operate on a nation. A nation. It's you and me. Operate on us. Get this devil germ out of us. And don't stop a law until you put it in the fire. Fire consumes all germs. Thank you, Allah. Thank you for my people who are listening. I know they're going to believe Allah. I know that. Because you have said that all the bones did live. They came together and they did live. And the Holy One, you said, I will call them one time and they all will stand up. The Bible said he called them and all the bones united came together and they stood up. So, oh Allah, I know you're going to rise up my people and going to accept them as your people, even after whipping them. God, and that there is no God besides yes, you, having the power to make Please. heaven and earth the power to the world. Don't, uh, don't push it that too hard, man. <laughs> You've been standing about two hours, so the one... I said to you, my brother, that we live in, in the judgment and not the judgment to come. It's now. You can't go into the hereafter with a devil's name. You can't go into Allah's kingdom being called by white people's name. You have it in the Bible, all that is called by my name. Well, I say, I said to you, I thank you for your pleasure. He, here this afternoon with us, you that is visiting us, we hope that you will join us and not only be saved by the God who is able to save you, 
We like that you show us that you are our brother by uniting with us and not by uniting with the devil. And I don't mean that the devil is a spirit, he's a white man. Don't unite with them to go nowhere. Because if you unite with them to go, look at a wedding, you're afraid that he may deceive you. He'll marry you into hell. Stay away from him. I thank you. We thank you I thank Martin. you. And I said to you that if we do not meet here again next year, on this same day, we have been pointed out the right path. And we have been told the truth. And I say, let us believe in the truth and act upon the principles of the truth. Go home to our people and to our God. I thank you. In the name of Allah, I'm going to turn you back over into the hands of the workers. And I pray that they will hurry and get through with their work with you and dismiss you so that you can go home as early as possible. It's four o'clock now, about that time, and I want all of us to leave here as fast as we possibly can. You that want to return home, you can return home. You have some sandwiches down there or over to the restaurant. You take them and keep going if you want to go home. I said to you that has been on your last dollar to try to get here. Don't never come here like that. Leave a dollar to go back home with. We are not able to give you fare to go back home. And we're not able to take care of you here. We're just as poor as you. So be careful about that. Never leave home unless you have your return fare home. Again, Thank you, and I could stay here and look at your beautiful faces, which if you would come up here on this stand beside me, you would say, yes, they are beautiful. That's right. That's right. You are a beautiful nation. Yes, now I want to make you beautiful and beautiful more and more. I thank you again, and in the name of Allah, I want you to remember, if you have so much as 50 cents that you could spare, give it to us, please, to build you a center here. Build you a place of your own to worship your God. I'm asking you and begging you with all of my heart, try and give us $100,000 if you don't have it in your pocket, have it in the bank, Give us a check. We'll go there. Thank you. Yes. And that uh, we will thank you and thank God for God for you. We want to build a black man center in Chicago. Thank you. I want you to do that. Give all you can to the cause of self. This is to yourself. I salam alaikum. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Let's hear it. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Louder. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. All praise is due to Allah for the Honorable Elijah
the judgment to come, it's now. You can't go into the hereafter with a devil's name. You can't go into Allah's kingdom being called by white people's name. You have it in the Bible, all that is called by my name. Well, I say, I said to you, I thank you for you. He here this afternoon with us, you that is visiting us, we hope that you will join us and not only be saved by the God who is able to save you. We like that you show us that you are our brother by uniting with us and not by uniting with the devil. And I don't mean that the devil is a spirit, he's a white man. Don't unite with them to go nowhere. Because if you unite with them to go, look at a wedding, you're afraid that he may deceive you. He'll marry you into hell. Stay away from him. I thank you. We thank you I thank one. you. And I said to you that if we does not meet here again next year, on this same day, we have been pointed out the right path. And we have been told the truth. And I said, let us believe in the truth and act upon the principles of the truth. Go home to our people and to our God. I thank you. In the name of Allah, I'm going to turn you back over into the hands of the workers, and I pray that they will hurry and get through with their work with you and dismiss you so that you can go home as early as possible. It's four o'clock now, about that time, and I want all of us to leave here as fast as we possibly can. You that want to return home, you can return home, you have some sandwiches down there or uh, over to the restaurant. You take them and keep going if you want to go home. I said to you that has been on your last dollar to try to get here. Don't never come here like that. Leave a dollar to go back home with. We are not able to give you fare to go back home. And we're not able to take care of you here. We're just as poor as you. So be careful about that. Never leave home unless you have your return fare home. Again, thank you. And I could stay here and look at your beautiful faces, which if you would come up here on this stand beside me, you will say, yes, they are beautiful. You are a beautiful nation. Now I want to make you beautiful and beautiful more and more. I thank you again, and in the name of Allah. I want 
you to remember if you have so much as 50 cents that you could spare give it to us please to build you a center here yes, sir. build you a place of your own right. to worship your God yes, I'm asking you and begging you with all of my heart try and give us a hundred thousand dollars if you don't have it in your pocket have it in the bank give us a check we'll go there thank you yes and that uh, we will thank you and thank God for God for you. We want to build a black man center in Chicago. Thank you. I want you to do that. Give all you can to the cause of self. This is to yourself. I salam alaikum.